All right, everybody, welcome back to another video. Today, we're playing some Cassiopeia in the mid lane. We're running Conquer, Presence of Mind, Tenacity, Cut the Grass, uh, Conditioning, and Overgrowth. I think it's Overgrowth. Yeah, I was right. Okay, but anyway, we're doing a Cassiopeia build, pretty much her meta build, but this champion can easily solo kill anybody you're against. When I'm playing her in high elo, Nobody respects me early, and I always end up first blooding them. So even with a tier start and scaling runes and scales on our tail, we can still destroy enemies. So I'm going to E him just for stacking up the tier, but I don't want to use too many E's on the enemy when I don't have the poison because it doesn't really do any damage. It's just for stacking up the tier. because We already have 15 stacks with two E's on him. So yeah, I really like playing this champ. She's somewhat difficult, but pretty easy once you get used to her. Because it's very easy to farm on her. Because you have your auto attacks, and then you can just press E. And if your E kills the minion, it refunds the mana. So level 2 is a pretty big power spike. If he jumps in and tries to trade me, I'm going to all in him. Because if I hit poison, my E's do a lot more damage. I'll try to poke him down a bit. Not be too aggressive till I see him misstep. Oh, was it the skin that made that noise? That's interesting. So used to playing with default skins. All right, and what I like to do is uh, two points E, because I don't really need the W. It doesn't do that much damage early, and we don't need to stop a dash. Okay, so... He is respecting me for now. But we could get ganked and I could still 1v2. Cassiopeia is insanely strong early. So we'll crash this wave into his turret. And now we're level 4. Now we can get the W. Hey, watch out for uh, Ivern gank. Okay. Not bad. Ward up here. We've uh, got most of his corrupting. And now he's quite low. But yeah, Fizz is a little tricky to kill because he's going to jump away. But if we do catch him in our W, he can't use his jump. Like this. Uh, get a little bit more range on that auto attack than I thought. Either way, he's going to have to base before us. Ivern's bot. Um, Ivern's probably going to come gank us. I think I have enough mana to kill Fizz still. Even with an Ivern shield. We'll see. I see he wants to go in. Ivern's definitely below me, but I can run up to Viego. Do a Q and an E. Okay, I think he's going to base after that. If he stays, we can kill him. Okay, he's staying. I don't have too much mana, but it's not going to take much to kill him. But look, 40 farm to 19. We've essentially, without even killing him, we're up over a kill's worth of gold. Just by our sheer early game power. Oh, that's unfortunate. Both those minions live with one negative one HP. Diego might win that. Or not. And that guy's level... Wait, how is that guy level six already? I guess I'm about level six. Okay, so we're going to grab a lost chapter. I'm just going to sell my potion. I don't even need it. But yeah, we're over double his farm. Build path is going to be a Leandri's into a upgraded tier item into a Rylize. Or you could get the Rylize before the upgraded tier. Both are good. 
Depends if you want to chase people or not. Nice. We'll just keep hitting him with poison. He does have his uh, ult now. But that's how he can kill us. Okay. Went in for a little combo and just jumped out. What I need to do is I need to uh, freeze the lane. Because I don't want to be under his turret anymore. Because he's going to keep going in for those little trades. play it nice and slow. He did play super safe early, but we still are super far ahead of him. But he can easily kill us now if he lands his ult. Fizz does do a lot of damage. But so does Cassiopeia as we just chunk half of his health there. Alright, uh... Which is really fed. Well, it is one to seven. I mean, nice. Caught him in the. Uh, he's dead. And I got his flash. Caught him in the W while he was going for a minion. He couldn't jump away. And then I just hit him with a ult. Annoying fucking champ. There we go. See, it's very hard to play into Cassiopeia, especially she's good against. Melee champs, good against a lot of range champs, too. But 72 to 32, up 40 farm, plus maybe a little bit more. This will be a tough game, though. Twitch is a little difficult for us to deal with because his ult uh, gives him longer range. I guess I could have stayed for plating, but it's okay. Let's grab that, and let's get a Dark Seal, stack it up. We need to be the carry. Okay, you get move speed for landing your Q, so you can chase people down. Seventy-eight to 35. Fizz is pretty weak. He may look for a roam, since he is not going to be able to have anything mid. Or he's going to call Ivern here, so then we'll have a 2v1. A 1v2. But I think I could kill both. I just need my altar ignite up. Do you have a oh shit. For some reason, I got scared and I thought that was a shark and I thought Ivern was in the bush too. So that was a bad flash by me. <laughs> I got so scared there. I wasn't expecting him to be in there. It's alright, we don't need flash, we have alt. Well, now I can't dodge the shark. I'm trying to move sideways when I'm walking at him to hit him because if he throws out the shark, I may have a chance to dodge it. Three to ten. Where's their Ivern? Guess he doesn't want to come mid. 94-38. Oh my gosh. My vision bot side. Not plating. There's a shark. See, I was moving sideways. I'm gonna go in still. Oh, uh, he has a Nimbus Cloak. He's probably gone. Yep. Couldn't catch the uh, stun on the Ivern. I think I might be. Okay, fed Twitch versus Cassiopeia. And Twitch is gone. Three kill Twitch is no match for me after I land my poison. He has to be ulting. Not bad. Yeah, Fizz, Fizz is very difficult because if I miss Q on him when he jumps, it's very hard to get poison on him. I think Teemo's coming mid now. I need to back up. I don't want to die. 104 farm at 10 minutes, so I'm farming perfectly while also picking up kills. I'm very, very good with this champion. We all wear masks. Some 
Okay, let's do the uh, tier upgrade next. We want some health. The thing that sucks about this item is you literally lose haste by upgrading it. Like, you get 10 haste here. When you upgrade it, it goes to, like, 5. I don't know why they did that, but... Rito. Okay, so I'm strong enough to uh, easily 1v2 if I get ganked, as long as I dodge that shark like I did last time. Problem is, if I don't dodge the shark, I get CC'd and then they can burst me. But what's cool is conditioning hasn't even popped yet. I think it's about to pop in 30 seconds. And that'll give us some armor and magic resist. And then we have the overgrowth too. I should have just killed Daisy. I think I would have just got 50 gold. Also, I have a Leandri's now. Where are you going, little fish? He's dead. So much damage. You have to be aggressive with this champ and all in. You can't play safe. Well, you can. You just have to go aggressive at the right times. So even though our team's getting destroyed, we have a massively, like, massive. The only thing that I don't like is they have a Yorick with a hole breaker, so side lane's going to be pressured the whole game. But Alawi, I think, can maybe fight him later. I can go look for a roam. Let's go get bot lane. So we got an extra 10 armor and 11 magic resist. Twitch is dead. Teemo's. Got to ult him because he actually almost killed me. Oh, that was close. Yeah, conditioning, I think, saved our life there. If we didn't have that armor and MR, we would be dead. All right, upgraded Archangels, and it's already, the tier's almost stacked up since we started with the tier, and then I'm gonna go for a Rylai's next, so if I hit somebody with poison, one, it's easier to see if we landed our poison, and two, they get slowed, so nobody can run away from me, unless they jump over a wall. Hey, you're all, you also heal 33 every time you eat somebody that's poisoned. Goes up too with your AP. Five and zero, one thirty farm at thirteen, fourteen minutes. Just looking for Ivern or anybody right now. We could try and kill Yorick. Probably dive him. I'm gonna try and dive him. I think. Okay, he popped his ult. I'm just gonna stay up here though. I'm going to tell Alawi to go mid so we don't lose too much farm to Fizz. I think Yorick's going to just base. Oof. Oh, nice. I killed these in one E without poison. Uh-oh. Good thing I didn't hit poison on him. Losing too much health. Oh, no. Well... Diego kind of into it. I did say for a Lowie to go mid, but they did not listen. We have a common problem of that. Well, Fizz has no ult ignite, so I should be safe at this health. Aw, oh, Cannon died with quarter health left from one turret shot. Okay, they're probably going to get Dragon off that. I don't know where the Ivern is. There he is, a Dragon. It will heal up a bit. I need one more E. Darn. Somehow he got out of range. What is this? Uh, Twitch is going to be here too. I need to be ready for Twitch. Save my ult for the rat. I had two Qs on him, so he's burning. And then this upgraded heals me too after I spend mana. I could actually get first turret here. Plating's down. I'm gonna go for it. Got it before the Yorick with Hallbreaker. 
Oh, they're going to have fed Teemo with Leandre Shrooms. That is going to be very frustrating for us. Go through their jungle. Thresh was not paying attention. I know what everyone wants. Let's go bot now and try and get the Twitch. He just appeared from his invis. But they have so much pressure down here. I'm probably going to hit a shroom. There it is. We walked right by it. We need Viego. Viego's not paying attention either, apparently. Your turret has been destroyed. But this is why my team's getting destroyed. They're not paying attention. They're just able to walk through. Chickens are more important than a double kill. But since they got bot and top turret, maybe they'll come ARM mid, and I could I could probably 1v3 them. I could flash stun the uh the Twitch, but I'll save it. Save it for when the fight matters, like at objective or something. We need to get Herald, because if we give that to uh Yorick, he's going to win the game. Just do it. We'll wait in this bush. Twitch will walk up. We'll take a Teemo. Burn in this guy. Nice smite. They have two familiars over here, though. I gotta take these out. Uh, somehow I uh, didn't get poison on them. And the maiden lived with fucking one HP, man. Oh, that's so unlucky. But at least we got the the herald. Oh my god, this turret's gone too. Man, that sucks. The maiden. I I eat the maiden. It lived with one health, and then I switched to Yorick, and the maiden lived. Well, not the worst, but I really, really, really need a teammate. This is like straight up 1v5. Okay, so we at least have some health. I need to kill this Yorick, but there's just so many other targets I gotta go for. He's so tanky that it just takes too long to kill him. Gush could have walked up and flayed him. Could have been a free kill. Okay, we needed to fight for that. The hard part is, is without my flash up now, if Twitch opens up a fight with his ult, I'm not going to be able to reach him. That's a downside of Cassio, you have really short range. If you don't control I slowed him. He can't get away from this, actually he can because of his wall. Unfortunate. I feel like she's gonna die. We lost Thresh. We're getting pinned right here. Oh, I killed Daisy very fast. Wait, I got Twitch slowed. But I don't want to walk into an Ivern root, but... There we go. Got both of them at the same time. Oh, Yorick died. Let's go. Okay, Viego does damage. That's all we need. Let's do dragons so they don't get dragon control. I'm literally just focusing Twitch, because I know Twitch is the only one. Twitch and Teemo are the only ones that can actually really deal damage to me. Oh, he just jumped on the poison. Hit a shroom. Let's go do Baron. Ping it a million times so we don't have any confusion. But we, we have enough damage. Cassio actually can burn Baron very quickly. And Viego does a lot of damage too.
I don't want to tank because I'll do half damage, but I think I did tank a shot. Thresh needs to stand closer. Thresh is kind of screwing over Viego here. Oh, he doesn't have a smite. That's fine. All right, look at that. 20-minute Baron. And just like that, we're back in the game. I need to buy a sweeper. This guy is going to be very annoying with his double burn. My CS looking like 179. Lane phase ended, though, a while ago. We've just been roaming. Get back up. Uh, let's do Magi's and a Sweeper. Magi is going to give us more move speed. Um, next, I'm going to want to go a Death Cap. Cassiopeia really likes ability power. Don't go Demonic on her. Double Burn, it's okay. I would get it if you're like behind, but more damage the better. Unfortunately, Yorick is just faster than me. So he'll just hit a slow on me and run away. Oh, why did we, why did we use Herald there? And why did we fight? I'm gonna use a vent top. Like, I could save mid, but Yorick's gonna get top. Okay, I guess I'm going top two. Nobody goes up there. He's gonna run away though if I go up there. We'll see. <laughs> he gets melted so fast. As soon as I land a Q on him and they don't flash away, they're just dead. And I flash in 20 seconds. I think Yorick's taking our blue. Not gonna clear that, it's almost dead. Yeah, we just gotta play to not lose an inhib, because if we lose an inhib, we pretty much lose the game, because Yorick's just gonna go split the other lane. Yeah, Ivern did get melted. He, he's actually really squishy, because he's going like an AP supporty build. I don't even know what Ivern's build. Just trying to eat this to heal. Ouch. Alright, we'll back up. Banshee's Veil wouldn't be too bad either. I mean, the game's slowing down now, so my team can farm and get back in the game. But their champions are just kind of better than ours. Every problem is an opportunity. Wait in this bush. I think she's out. <laughs> and the waves push mid, so... I ain't getting anything. I forgot we had Baron though, we didn't get anything with the Baron. Many wars begin with a whisper. I could do a cosmic drive too, get some more speed to chase him down. Maybe I'll do that after Death Cap, because I don't think I'll need a Void Staff till like really late, because they don't have any MR yet. They're fighting top. Oh, they engaged on a Lowy. Oh, I got him with the poison. Okay, Yorick's gonna get burned here. There we go. Okay. They picked Thresh, but that's okay. Take out the Twitch first. Even if he flashes away. Ah, shoot. Teemo flashed anyway when I did. Where did he go? I E'd Teemo, so he should have been slowed, but how did he get away so fast? He didn't even hit the plant. Teemo, like, literally disappeared. Dover, thanks for the 34 months, Hog. Okay, Teemo. Well, you shouldn't have came back in because I have a Rylize. Goodbye, Teemo. Yeah, see, I am massive. They have a very hard time dealing with me. Jeez. 
freaking shrooms, man. We literally just need to try to not let Yorick get that top lane. That's all we need to do. Because I... The Twitch isn't super good because he's allowing me to pick him so much. Like, Twitch has never opened up on me with his ult. That's all he has to do is start ulting me from far away. And then I have to either flash on him or run away. Please, not in this bush. Oh, Daisy is actually tankier than Ivern. There we go. Twitch now opened up with ult. But... Oh, I'm dead. I got shark from behind. They need to run. Just defend top so we don't lose. Just let her go. Oh, just run, man. You might make it out. Yeah, Twitch opened up with ult there. Did a lot of damage to me. Just need to keep top alive. We can lose mid. Oh, close. He lives. He lives. Just back up. Oh. Not necessary to go back in with one HP. Um. We could do hourglass to block the shark too. I don't think they get barren. I'm gonna do the cosmic drive though. I just I need the speed. Or maybe I'll do banshee's veil. We'll see. Okay, we can defend mid now, maybe? Or not? Lowey is AFK. Lowey lose two turrets and a Viego. Yeah, this is like straight up 1v5, man. This is rough. We have like nobody that can go in and CC them for me. I have to do everything. There's a shroom there, but... There's a dead Twitch also. Is so messy. You could do Baron, but Viego's dead. Okay. I guess we do it. I could heal. Ivern can steal this, so... But maybe they won't think we're burning it so fast. Oh god. Here we go, defend bot now. I think I need a Banshee's Veil. One Shroom takes like half of my health. Deadman's? Yeah, Deadman's is good too for the speed. If uh, Viego could CC him, which he did, but the, the Yorick wall just counters me so hard because I have so slow attack speed I can't break it. York is just so fast. I mean, the only way we win this game, I guess, is we get to late game and then I ace them because it doesn't matter if I kill them, we never can get anything because York's always pressuring side lane. Well, Alawi's getting top turret. This guy just needs to not die. Wait here. Fizz just jumped though. Ah, oh, that's a low cooldown. If they kill him, that's good. But they didn't. Darn, man. That was close. Rush is pulling this minion away from me, so I just lost so much mana. I gotta go defend bot, unfortunately. Losing an inhib, trading inhibs is really bad for us. I think I gotta do the banshees. Your team has destroyed a turret. All right, well we're full build. Oh, wait. I didn't even see this guy. I thought that was... Dude, I thought he was Daisy. Holy fuck. <laughs> I thought he was Daisy. I wasn't hitting him. I'm so strong, though. We can win off dragons, too. I mean, we're winning in objectives. I think we're going to win this game. 
fave sweeper. They can't contest this. If you don't control pawns, you are I don't need to farm anymore, I'm full build. I mean we still have Baron, but it's about to run out. Reset. I mean, we don't need to fight right now because if we lose the fight, we're going to lose an inhib. And if we win the fight, we're going to get nothing. So we'll just reset. We kind of need to wait for Baron and Dragon to be up again. It's just really hard to siege against these Teemo shrooms. I just like the Banshees a little better because it stops me from getting rooted by Ivern in the beginning of a fight or getting hit by a a shroomin getting caught. I think I have enough speed if with the uh, 25 stack of Jai's. I don't need this actually. Oh, my poison grabbed it all. They're they're going for a Lowy up here. You probably get this a lot, but I've been falling asleep to your YouTube vids and enjoying rewatching them for years now. Good to catch you live and sub here. Thank you, man. Yeah, that's a uh, that's a common occurrence, and uh, it's it's good. I mean, that's the vibe I kind of go for. I'm fairly calm, for the most part. Spineless, no, flexible, extremely. See, Banshee's Veil just blocked Shroom, but there's. Did I hit a second one? Why did the shroom still do damage? Okay, so the enemy team, they don't know what to do right now. They're trying to split all three lanes now. We basically just have to wait for Dragon Baron, my Flash, to come up. They have to fight us at Baron. We're doing a very good job at defending all the lanes. Like, like I said, if we lost an inhib, this game would be ten times harder. But since we're... We're holding the the base, and they don't have an inhib on us. We can just kind of chill and take this game to 40 minutes and win there. Do they outscale Cass? Yeah, if they play right. But uh, the Twitch hasn't been playing spectacular. Like, he had a huge lead, but he's only opened up on me with his alt once, which he should be doing every fight because I'm the only one that matters. Like, if you press tab, 16 kill Cass, you'll be a 1-1-3-1. One, one, you think you'd want to kill this 16 kill person first, and then you just win the game. There he is. Okay, we can try and pick him. Kaiza lives, I think. Either way, even if it's a one for one, Twitch now dies. Run, Kaiza. Oh, she has all. We're good. He lives. Okay, so Twitch now dies. We'll hold mid. Alawi's doing a good job at holding versus Yorick. Baron's up in 20 seconds. Guys putting shrooms all over here, but we got the magical sweepers. They may try to fight us. Ooh, Thresh. York's TPing bot. We need uh, a Lowy TP bot. Alawi, please just listen for once in your life. Just fucking TP. Oh my god, I literally have to type and tell them what to do. Oh, uh, they're going to steal this, too. Oh, my God. He didn't smite it after he flashed over the wall. Man, I literally have to play people's fucking roles for them. We just lost an inhib because of Lowry fucking egoed and didn't TP bot to match it. But it's fine. We got the Baron. It's just now... I got to run. He can kill me. I'm surprised he didn't flash on me. He could have killed me. I think we gotta go for the end here. Like, we have no choice with that inhib down. Wait, why did I get tower aggro? Darn, I died. Get the inhib. Gosh, nobody's hitting me in here. Okay. Leave, 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 leave. Oh, now they go in. Run! Get the dragon! 
I'll ping it as much as I can. Shoot, Teemo's running there. He might be able to kill him. Oh! Where's the Q? Yes! Okay, get the dragon. I'm gonna ping this as much as I can because it's soul. Free soul. Oh, me there, Yorick. I don't think I hit my poison on him because I was eating Yorick, but I wasn't healing. I must have missed. Nice! Okay. Okay, we five bot now, or one top to stop Yorick. Now, I didn't want to flash there because I still could have died. The Maiden was hitting me, and I was really low. I wouldn't have lived with flash. Plus, I have flash for next fight. The thing is, if I died here, the only thing we could have lost is that dragon, which we didn't. So, my flash is up, and we're good. Jeez, okay. He actually can kind of fight me. We gotta go bot. Hopefully there's something I can life steal off of. Lose up. Nice. V Viego's strong now. He's doing damage. Wait, what happened? I thought Ivern was right there. Oh, he's dead. Oh, we have a cannon. That's about it. Okay. I have flash alt, so I could just flash alt Twitch or Teemo when they try to defend this. Oh, nice pick, Kaiser. Okay, we can we can just reset and play this slow. We could have tried to push bot and end, but it's much smarter to just recall and go top and go for this top turret. So now that we have inhibs, York can't split, so we, we've won here. We just need to get to this point. Twenty-one kills. I know what everyone wants. Yeah, Yorick's strong, but I still beat him in 1v1. Maybe not. Okay, what the fuck? Did he buy a force of nature? Hey, never mind. I don't beat him 1v1. Very balanced. I have three times as many kills as him, and he literally took zero damage. I guess I need the void staff for him. Okay, we need to go top. We don't really need to be mid. We could just go get the top in him. I guess I sell this for Void, but I'm going to get slower. That's disgusting. I hit him with everything with Ignite. Bro, why can't we go top? They d we don't need to be mid. Well, we got Twitch all, but they still might get caught. Luckily, we have that Cloud Soul, so everybody's really fast. I didn't hit Poison. I'm pretty sure I did. Maybe I didn't hit it the second time. The R. I don't know. I guess I should have ulted. I, I didn't think I'd need it. Yeah, we can get rid of the Banshees for... We could try Dead Man's. Bro, I don't know, man. I don't, I don't know why these people play with me. If they're just literally going to do the opposite of everything I say. Like, we j I literally said everybody go top. We had three people go top. Two people stayed mid for no reason and still died. And he's gone. Actually, allow he's slow. Nice. He's not gone. Okay, we're losing mid. What to do? My first Q miss. Is that why I did no damage to your? All right, we're losing our momentum. We really just need to fucking get to top lane. But let's just do Baron. Baron's been working for us. Okay, I must have missed the... No, actually, I have a Void Staff now. I think it was... 
I think it was because I had no magic pen. Let's just burn this. Demo's back during in him. It's fine. One push top. Last game, I said one push top, and everybody in the comments said I, or I said I one base, and everyone thought I said I base. No, I said one. Timo said, "This guy's dead." Beautiful play. All right, as long as Twitch just man, whatever. We just can end. We have minions. We just need Twitch's base to stop here. It's over. Alright, GG. That was a little stressful game. But this is the potential of Cassiopeia. I, I literally just 1v5 this game. So yeah. If you guys enjoyed and you watched this whole fiesta, please drop a like. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Uh, check out all my other channels. And leave a comment below. Let me know what Builder Champ you want to see next. I'm very, very, very experienced with Cassiopeia. I probably play her just as much as Zareth. Uh, I'll give it to... Diego? I don't know. Everybody had their ups and their down, but... I'm just really scared of losing those inhibs early, and we lost them late, which is fine, because we could still win. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I kind of knew it was going to look like this, but yeah, 73,000 damage. Here's our rune stats. Conquer healed us 932. It's not a lot of healing for how late that game went, but Conquer gives us a lot of uh, AP and this yellow tree is so good because Presence of Mind kept our mana up, Tenacity, stopped the roots and stuff, cut the grass, did 1752. You can also take last stand. And then this gave us a little bit of survivability. Other than that, I'll see you guys later. Peace.